The Permanent Secretary of the Lagos State Emergency Managing Agency, last summer, Dr. Femio Oke Osointolu, has said that warning had been given to occupants of the Bute Meta Collapse building concerning the status of the building. Osointolu spoke with Plus TV News at the site where efforts were ongoing to rescue others trapped under the rubble as at the time of filing this report. Our correspondent Paul George was there and now reports. It was a bittersweet Eid al-Fitri celebration as sympathizers thronged the battle street to see the building that caved in at about 10 p.m. on Sunday, killing eight persons and leaving about 23 others injured. This is a building that clearly early warning has been given concerning the status of the building. In as much that we sympathized with those that lost their beloved ones, we need to state it clearly that we will not tolerate this type of man-made disaster. Okay, I saw in Tulu once that such warnings shouldn't have been ignored. When we got there, as at that time, we were having close to 20 people uh, rescued. So at the end, so far, we have 23 people rescued alive and eight people uh, recovered dead. Out of the eight, three uh, females, five males. Johnson Adejari, who claimed to be a family member to the owner of the collapsed building, and at the same time, the secretary of the house corroborates the claims of the DG that the owner of the building had been informed about its status. Two years ago, we called the developer that, look, this is fresh on sand. The house is not good again, it's not safe again. Come and do something about it. She ought to, because the real developer, the real developer of Tumba, Rotak Nigeria Limited, died. Then the woman, the wife, the wife took over. Took over from him. Then she, she, she kept on collecting money. Uppermost, at the top, at the last floor, the third floor, we have, you know, a room at the parlor, a room at the parlor, like five there. Then at the second floor, we have uh, four flats. Then at the, uh, at, the, at, the, at the first floor, we have four flats too. One of the survivors was glad he came out alive. I what I imagine that the building is collapsing. And I was naked. So when, the, when we reach ground, I now make sure that I don't put fear in my, in my mind. That what will be, will be. But people came to rescue me. I feel bad. Most especially a boy that they call David. He always be with me. He walked with me. But may he so rest in peace. As the rescue operations continue, friends and families hope that those who are still trapped in the rubbles are rescued alive. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.